Hello everyone, welcome back. Today let's solve the sixth top coding interview question from 48 top coding uh, interview questions curated by Leith code uh, using Python. This problem is uh, about intersection and printing uh, the number of uh, elements which are intersecting between two numbers. So, two arrays in fact. Uh, so, this is a number uh, 1 which is uh, array 1, this is number 2 which is array 2. So, here uh, these two uh, two two are getting repeated. So, which, are, which are basically the common in between intersection is the common between these two arrays. Here 4 9 is common between uh, these two arrays. That is what we have to print out. So, how do we solve this problem? Uh, this problem uh, you know we will solve using uh, four steps. First step is to I have added some more extra elements uh, here uh, 4 is what I have added, 3 is what I have added. So, basically the we need the output as 2 2 is common same thing as the extra elements I have added just to for the better understanding. So, what I will do is the first step is to sort the elements. So, simply just you sort the elements. So, 1 1 will go here, 2 will be middle and 4 will be last as usual. So, here 3 will go last you just sorted the number. Second is you add the pointers. So, you have a pointer here pointing i pointing to this uh, array element 0 and you have pointer another pointer pointing to uh, number 2 j. So, 2 pointers and you keep comparing the values using pointers. If this you know value here is less than this value you keep incrementing i pointer right. If this j is less than uh, you know um, uh, pointer i so you keep incrementing j. If both are equal then you keep adding. So, that is what this two pointers are uh, we initialize these two the, the pointers here and then we keep you know we apply while loop uh, till the end of this then the end of this and then in the first condition you check if is this is this uh, less than this if it is less than this you keep incrementing else is this less than this uh, is j uh, number of uh, 2 j less than this if yes yes keep incrementing. So, that is else if last is if no the, the neither this is uh, less than this nor this is less than this. So, you keep they basically they are equal then you keep uh, adding. So, basically the equal means they, they are uh, elements here is equal to element here. So, you add that. So, that is nothing but intersection. So, we will solve using debugging. Uh, for debugging what you need is in the previous example what I have showed I have showed you using Google Collab. However, we will show a debugging is one of the essential skill for a developer especially freshers uh, will not be able uh, they, they, they do not uh, they are not aware many of the times during when I started career I was not aware about the debugging how to debug the code. Uh, we know how to solve the problems, but we do not know how how the loops works can I can I put a breakpoint and then uh, iterate through uh, we will show you. For that what we need is we need python uh, you can download python from official website. Uh, you can also download python along with other libraries using anaconda. So, either this one or this one I will suggest you go with this uh, simple you do not need anaconda it is up to you if you want. Uh, so, this is the python you download it. Uh, that's next, 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 whichever the OS you have. So, this will download the Python. If you already have a Mac or a Linux system, Python is will be already there in your Mac system, but majority of the OS will have 2.7 or something like that. So, you use Python 3, but for our example, Python 2 also works fine. So, this uh, this why Python you need. The second is you need do to download the IDE. So, either you can use PyCharm uh, and there are many more lot, lot more other libraries, but nowadays most of the people prefer using VS code, Visual Studio code. So, you download according to your OS. So, that is how once you download it uh, many things will automatically come into picture. So, I already have uh, uh, VS code installed and, and downloaded here and additionally I also written the code uh, because the focus is on more on the uh, debugging part. Um, so, this is this is the list I sort the list I have sorted the list and you see this is sort list I pointer I created the pointers. I additionally also created an output list because they need the output co common intersection in the in the in the in the form of list that is when I created. For the first time I check if uh, the basically the length of these two elements um, I will check and uh, keep keep iterating keep incrementing. So, here if you see first time what I am doing is array of i uh, number i this this element is less than this element if this element of course the sorted elements then you keep incrementing i that is what I am doing. If any ele elements here is less than the elements in here so you keep incrementing j this is what I am doing. If not if not the elements are equal then you add it to the list and because they are equal right so you have to keep incrementing i and j. So, that is what the last step is I um, will run and see show you you know this is the output you see this is the output and then middle I also have a some other outputs. 
So what I'll do is I'll simply uh, put a debugger. I'll show you uh, put a debugger here. Before that, I'll, I'll I want to show you something here. Print this value and print this value as well. So true or false, whichever it goes. All right. So let's let's get into the exciting mode. So the debugging mode. So what you have to do is you just can you can you see here? Just click here. Point your mouse here and then just left side left click. That's all. One click. This is called breakpoint. So you add a breakpoint, and then so you go here, and, and when you download a VS Code, automatically this comes. Run and debug, run and debug. That's all. Run and debug. So here comes the beauty. When you right click and run, it runs everything. Now wherever I have kept the breakpoint, I I can get into uh, there are there are concepts like a step over. You you go inside the function and then execute the full logic, uh, and then here step. Uh, step into and then you know it, this this is like a, you go inside a function and execute all the lines within the function and then this you know you execute the first function and then skip all the, all the remaining function there is a big logic we don't have to worry uh, if you want to run at, a, at 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 each stage right i mean if you see the control is stopped here so basically the program is stopped here you will not you see then there is no output here the program is stopped when i do right click and then without doing this it will run automatically in in in, in seconds but the control is stuck here like it, it stopped here because i have put the breakpoint so now i can I, by using this play button right i can go to the next next point or wherever so basically what i'm saying is you 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 i'm asking the kernel to stop here the i'm asking the python to stop here uh, that is what it is saying so i can go here you know you see i'll see the all the values i can keep you know go to the pointers wherever i i i wanted so and then move on right so it gives you the output suddenly i can if i just simply run i'll get the output in seconds uh, but now what i want to i don't want to do that i want to go step by step and see how it works that's where this uh, this function comes into picture so although i put the breakpoint i can skip that i can uh, the first time i need it i i the program is stopped here if you see here uh, these are the memory variables the program is executed till here only it has stopped here the program is executed till here the line number one is executed and it starts stopped at line number two. So you see number one here and then I click on this, go to the next line. Okay, you see the number two here. These are loaded to the memory. The program is stopped here. Okay, I go next again. You see this. That's all. You The numbers one is sorted. This is not loaded yet in the memory. I'm doing this next. Now it is loaded. You see here number two. These are sorted. Perfect. I can print those, you know, this you can see the output here. Yeah, can you see the output? Whatever I have, the program is got executed. All right. So now there, there, are, there are no J's and I's right here. There are no J's and I's here. So what I'll do is I'll simply now you see I value. Now you see J value. Output list is also empty. You see the output list is empty. Now here comes the what is I value? I value is one. Is it less than length of this? What is the length of this? You will also get that. You can, uh, you know, see see you know by looking at this when when you go to if you want to print it like you create a new variable you can you can get that you know this you can if you see here you can see that length is 5 right length of this element is 5 i is 0 and you can also see here j value because it has already executed j value you can also see the value if you hover here length is 3 now comes array of i this i is this i is what is the value of i here you can see here one right one at zero one two three four these are the indexes these are the values at zero one is it less than less than what is the element here two yes it is less than so you will get output here true right you will get the output true yeah see but now you will also checking the condition now if the, i mean if this condition is passes right this is i is less than j so what you do is you increment the i that it, it it goes here I'm just for showing you. I'm showing you this. You will you will should get a false here. Yeah, you should you will get a false here. That is an you increment the i. Now the rest of the program will not execute at all. So the next is you because you incremented i. J is still zero. Now it will go to the loop. Now you become i became one. J is still zero. Now again you check. Come here. This is very important, guys. I value. What is the i value here? Now it is one. Right? Again one. So you will get one is less than what is the j j value is still 0 j value is still 0 what is the value j j of 0 is 2 so it is still less you will get true and the remaining is false 
all right let's go further so it goes here i mean obviously this is true right i mean i'm just show you do to, to just to show but actually the logic is here it's true it will go inside now i value will increase again nothing will be executed because this is true so one of these condition will execute either this one or this one or this one so next now i value becomes already has become 2 now what is the uh, 2 0 1 2 now 2 2 is equal to 2 is equal to are j is still 0 can you see j is still 0 so first condition is false first condition will be false yeah can you see uh, you will see the first condition is already false you will see the second condition also be false this will not go here this will also not go here inside you see it will not go inside here yeah it has went to here now 2 will be added now you will see the output of 2 here in the output list uh, output list was empty now can you see 2 is already added right now you increase the i i is 2 now you, it will become right 3 j becomes 1 now again you come back now come back again so here you see i 3 i 3 means 0 3 is here 2 2 now again j is 1 2 2 so this is false this will be false this will also be false 2 to false now it will not go inside this because both are equal and so a new increment and that's all so because it it has already reached uh, to the point so the last you 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 go till the end right you go all the elements till, till the element is finished that's all because it has not there no, there are no common element it has increased Although there were values in i, so it has increased those uh, values, but there are no common elements. It has it has not added. Now you skip the output. The final output is two two. That's all, guys. I I hope you uh, get it. What I'm trying to say. What I'll do is uh, debugging. We'll keep uh, keep learning this debugging part. So all I, I have to do in the output is I'll just have to copy this. I just have to apologize. It's a lengthy session, I know, uh, but I. If you learn this debugging skill, debugging is one of the very essential skills uh, to, to learn to become a good programmer. So what I will do is I will simply sort it in the output I just have to I do not need these. I do not need either these as well because that is for my understanding. I, I just have to return this. So simply I will simply okay all right so let's return this list at a function level so let's run the code to test to see if the test cases are passed so here yes your answer is this expected answer is also this let's submit it has accepted that's all guys i i hope you learned something debugging we'll keep exploring this uh, ideas of debugging this is a unique uh, believe me even uh, you know so called uh, a very good data scientist uh, when I showed this skill of debugging uh, because luckily I come uh, uh, I come from a software engineering background uh, in Java so this is the fundamental things we used to do when I, I started my career uh, but when I moved to data science uh, at that time when I showed this debugging to a data scientist he was uh, so a little, little surprised like you know how for, for loop works how while loop works so you can put a breakpoint and then see how control goes you can see into the values uh, this is very important uh, try to learn uh, along with your problem solving skill and we will keep learning the same way. Thank you for watching, uh, see you in the next video.